I think in boxing there is a lot of swagger and posturing. What shines through with Nicola is her modest actions and her behaviours engage people and prime ministers and other leaders want to be connected with her now. My name is Ben Oakley and I'm the head of sport and fitness at the Open University. My unlikely leader is Nicola Adams, the gold medal winning women boxer, the first ever gold medal to be awarded in women's boxing. I can remember the day she won that and the roar from the crowd. It was a, a fantastic event. For me, she is unlikely in many senses. Firstly, she's broken the mould and being a woman boxer, she's a confident young black woman. When she first took it up as a youngster in, in Leeds, she couldn't f hardly find any opponents. She kept on practising and through years of hard work and dedication, she has uh, reached the pinnacle. I think in boxing they're trying to create and stimulate the, the idea of confrontation and, and perhaps false personality in a way uh, and aggression, particularly professional boxing where they're trying to sell television and, and, and seats. I think what shines through with Nicola is she's got no swagger or posturing and she's fairly humble, she's not arrogant, her honesty is what shines through and, and an example is her willingness to openly talk about her bisexuality. And, you know, you feel that there's some integrity there and therefore she, she gains people's respect and people listen to her opinions, which perhaps other leaders miss. The leaders we most commonly hear about in sport are typically football managers. And we hear about all their, their antics, losing their temper or making huge financial decisions. We, we're not party to their individual style and, and communication because obviously we only get filtered through the media. With Nicola, I think some of the uh, less conventional features of her leadership are her overt enthusiasm. You don't see such enthusiasm demonstrated by some, some leaders and in that she's inspiring other people. Women's boxing and perceptions of women's sport has changed as a result of Nicola. Before the Games, there were lots of articles about should it have a place at the Olympic table. Interestingly, in the year or so after the Olympics, there's none of that because when she's reported and people talk about her, they recognise her for her finesse, her skill, her supreme confidence and competence at what she does, which is, uh, if you contrast it with some other sporting stars, that's not always the case. Here's an example of someone trying to promote women's sport and women's boxing. Her modest actions and her behaviours engage people and engage the public and engage the press, particularly with young girls, uh, which is a real target audience, I think. Enthusiastic, confident, dedicated, inspirational and skillful. I'm sure we're going to see a lot more of her. <laughs>